The time has come. It is time to break out the Halloween decorations and spookify my apartment. If you're new here, hi, my name is Gail and I am a 30 year old woman living here in New York City. We are in Halloween spooky season. Okay, let's get started. decorations so I'm gonna show you what I have this was on my family's refrigerator every Halloween growing up I think I made this either I made this or one of my siblings made it I don't even know how old we were I got these last year these are just like pumpkin tapered candles however the middle is kind of broken so I'm not sure if we're gonna put those out Ooh, I bought these plates last year from Target they're really cute, simple, and really festive. So if I have people over, I like to use these during September, October season. So we have plates. We have pumpkin garland, more garland. Garland, garland, garland. See no evil skeleton. I think I got this on sale at Home Goods a couple years ago. A lot of bats. Most of these bats I actually hand cut myself. We just have a little pumpkin sign. This is arguably one of my favorite decorations. This was in my house growing up. These belonged to my mom and a couple of years ago she gave them to me because they're just my favorite and they're a little bit funky. Look how cute these are, right? It's like goofy little jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, oh and we also have the pumpkins. Uh, the one that I just recently got at the New Jersey Goodwill, and the one that I found out at a thrift store years ago. Let's see, where are those? These guys. Okay. Oh, there's these. <coughs> okay, on that note, let's get started. I purchased these off of Amazon a couple of days ago. So instead of like, taping the garland along the fireplace mantle. Uh, this is just more of an elegant way to hang it up. They're really cute. Uh, there are cheaper alternatives, but I really liked the dark metal and the detail of like the twist. I'm thinking a flock of bats in an upward direction above the couch. Bat wall over here and a bat wall in the kitchen as well. Bats, tape, Gale. <laughs> Let's do it. Almost as if they're like flying in through the window, which would actually be a nightmare if that actually ever happened. This is also a uh, wall friendly tape, so it won't peel off any of the paint when I take it off. Ooh. They did the monster mash and the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. 
It caught on in a flash. They did the match. They did the monster mash. Wow. Little bit wow. Little bit wow. Dracula and his son. Wow. Okay, I think we're gonna have it like swoop. So go up and then over. Real question for all the viewers out there. Does anyone actually like candy corn? Be honest, be honest. If you do, please comment below and like, let us all know why you like it because I feel like nobody likes it. But please prove me wrong. I want to know. Do you like candy corn? And if you do, why? If you don't, why? Share your thoughts and be nice to each other. I think one reason why I love decorating so much is because it almost feels like a family tradition of sorts. So before Halloween season and before the holiday Christmas Hanukkah season, um, my mom would go in the attic and literally take down boxes and boxes of decorations. And myself and my siblings I'm one of four kids, so all of us and my mom would gather around all of these boxes of decorations and for hours we would all just decorate our house. And thinking back on that now, it is like a really special memory uh, that I feel lucky to have. We all get so much joy decorating our apartments, our houses, like wherever we live. <laughs> We get so much joy doing that, doing just that every year. Even though we're not together when we're doing it, it almost, like I almost feel connected to my family as I decorate my apartment. And I think that's because of the tradition that my mom made for us. If I were to have kids, I would want to do the same thing, like all collectively decorate our house, our home together for the holiday season. Do you have any family traditions that you like to upkeep during the holiday season, whether it's Halloween. I guess we could talk about Halloween, but I'll definitely do another video when I decorate my apartment for the holidays. Uh, but yeah, do you have any traditions that you do every Halloween that feel special? Are there any movies that you like watching? Any music that you like watching? Any neighborhoods that you like trick-or-treating in? Or trunk or treat? Does everyone remember trunk or treat? How fun was that? So great. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. One more for good measure. The, yeah, right there. Yeah, I think right there. Bats! Silly, silly, silly.
I also have this sign. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang it on my front door, like outside of my apartment, so that other people can experience the Halloween festivities as they walk by my apartment. The apartment has been spookified. I hope you enjoy decorating as much as I did. Uh, I love Halloween time. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year. Last year, I was Britney Spears from Oops, I Did It Again. And it was just so iconic. Like, I need to figure out what can compete with that. <laughs> we'll see what this year brings. I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you enjoy decorating your own home, your own space. Let me know what your Halloween tradition is. Thank you for watching and happy, happy Halloween season. Enjoy it. They did the mash. They did the monster mash, the monster mash. Okay. Bye guys. See you next time.